Hey guys, welcome back to another travel vlog. I visited Vietnam, specifically Da Nang and Hoi An for a weekend trip in June of 2023. So if you're interested in seeing everything I did, then just keep on watching. After checking in, we got traditional Vietnamese food for dinner at the hotel. Apparently, you're supposed to wrap the pancake and veggies in rice paper and then dip it in this peanut flavored sauce. It was super good. So right here is where you come in from the front door. Small luggage room right here. And this is an overview of the room. And then here is the bathroom. So here is the balcony view. There's also a little bed right here on the balcony. So a little table area right here. And here is the view. Here is a little tea area. You also get some complimentary tea and coffee. Look at this mountain right here. Such a weird, interesting shape. Good morning guys and welcome to the first day in Vietnam. Today we're going to Hoi An Ancient Town which is a UNESCO World Heritage Spot that used to be a trading port in the 15th to 19th century. Lots of textiles and silk were traded here, so you can still find many tailor shops till this day. So today we are going to get some of our clothing tailored and also maybe custom make some things as well. I got a hand-painted traditional Vietnamese hat as a souvenir. Our hotel recommended us BB Taylor and I got a tailor-made jacket here. They had a variety of cloths and different textures and patterns. After that, we walked around for a bit and did a little shopping. Mm -hmm. 
It was so incredibly hot, so we went to this shop that is super popular for their herbal tea. For lunch, we went to Morning Glory, which definitely did not disappoint. I highly, highly recommend this banana leaf fish. It was super tender. In the afternoon, we took a little break and got a foot massage at one of the many, many massage places you can find around Hoi An. After the massage, we walked over to Cafe Fifo. I absolutely loved the vibe of this place. They had amazing merch and decorations, and their most well-known spot is actually their balcony, where you can see the street view of Hoi An from above. Throughout the town, you can see lanterns everywhere as Hoi An was heavily influenced by the Chinese and Japanese culture. We then took a cyclo that you can find everywhere in Hoi An. They take you around the town and the trip took around 50 minutes. All cyclos have plate numbers and are managed by the local police, so it's totally safe. It was then dinner time, but we weren't really hungry, so we grabbed a light dinner and enjoyed this beautiful view. It was finally dark enough to take the river boat ride. Hoi An is absolutely gorgeous at night. You can see all the lanterns lighting up and glistening in the water. We got our tickets on Kluk and it included a boat ride ticket, complimentary tea, and a lantern. Welcome to the second day in Vietnam. After breakfast, I relaxed at the pool for a little bit before doing some shopping at a local supermarket. I got some sheet masks, coffee, and of course, can't leave without getting some instant noodles and pho. But I let you hit my line, you probably pray for that. Gave you a couple nights, you never take that. Didn't mean to get you up, you stuck with you. If you think you can do better, go ahead. I won't miss you. No regrets. In the afternoon, we went to the Coconut Village for the infamous basket boat ride. We got our tickets on Kluk again, which included a boat ride and a complimentary coconut. Baby, you should know you're never safe 
Before dinner, we went back to our hotel and took a stroll around the beach. We made reservations at the hotel for dinner and they offered us a complimentary drink before dinner and everything was super delicious. We got a tuna tatar, some sort of bun for starters, and steak and asparagus for the main. Good morning, guys. Welcome to Vietnam. So today is actually our second last day here in Vietnam. Today we booked a guided tour at my son's sanctuary. So we're gonna be heading there in a bit. It's currently 10, 20 a.m. right now. Our tour guide was super knowledgeable. We learned that my son is actually pronounced Mi Sun. Mi means beautiful and Sun means mountain in Vietnamese. So my son actually translates to beautiful mountain. After visiting the museum near the entrance, we rode on one of these cars into the premise of the temples. We met up with our tour guide at the guide booking office beside the little gift shop. Again, we got our tickets on Kluk and it included an English tour guide and a traditional Vietnamese performance. Second century, but Champa people come here to start build temple of the fourth century. Special, very much people come here for it, maybe. Go, we can go and play for me. Ying, young, young, female. Rachel can get Champa people up to be relaxing and painting some material. Supply of brick become very smooth. Can I break better? In between the brick and little material can come in. You can see the comparison of the old versus the new bricks. Our tour guide told us that the Champa people started building these temples as early as the second century.
After getting back to the hotel, we rested for a little bit before dinner. We made reservations again at our hotel for a barbecue and seafood buffet. After dinner, we went for a little stroll on the beach and we were trying to catch baby crabs. And of course, we released them back into the waters after taking this video. That's it for this vlog, guys. I really hope you enjoyed watching. Please check out the other travel vlogs on my channel and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye, guys. Bye.